The DRDO has released the footage of Tejas aircraft firing the 110 km Rain Astra Mark 1 missile, that makes it the second aircraft to be integrated with the Astra missile after the Su-30. The Air Chief also conducted a review of the Tejas program yesterday, during which he said that the upcoming Tejas Mark 1A aircraft will be inducted in a newly raised squadron in one of the operational bases by February 2024, and the Mark 1A will see increased forward deployment and participation in international exercises. He also added, that from February 2024, India needs to produce 390 indigenous fighter jets, that includes 83 Tejas Mark 1A and 50 follow-on Tejas Mark 1A, that will be followed by 130 Tejas Mark II fighter jets and 126 AMCA. The DRDO has procured five sets of an improved variant of Rudram-1 missile, that will be used to conduct final user trials later this year. This upcoming round of trials aims to validate and fine-tune the missile's performance to hit enemy radar systems and communication stations at 150 km range. Apart from ground-based targets, the comprehensive trials will assess Rudram-1's capability to tackle aerial threats such as OAX platforms. The Indian Navy chief has said, that the Navy has already bought a few naval Tejas prototypes, and they are operating well, but the Navy is eyeing the twin-engine deck-based fighter, which is currently under the development stage. When asked about aircraft for the newly commissioned INS Week grant, the chief said that the aircraft carrier will operate MiG-29K at present, but will soon be operating the Rafale Marine. The Indian government has approved the re-notification of the Mandal Hang Field firing range in the Galwan Valley, that will once again be extensively utilized for testing artillery infantry armored and mechanized infantry weapons, that will help maintain combat preparedness for unforeseen contingencies. Due to the expiration of its lease since March 2022, the Indian Army had to halt all its training activities in the region. Philippines has displayed a keen interest in Indian military hardware, including Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopter Mark III and the indigenously built warships. The Chief of Philippines Coast Guard undertook a customer demonstration flight in the Advanced Light Helicopter Mark III of the Indian Coast Guard, and also visited Goa Shipyard Limited to witness an offshore patrol vessel and various shipbuilding capabilities. The Coast Guards of India and Philippines have also signed their first Memorandum of Understanding, for more information sharing in the maritime domain. <laughs> Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has constituted a nine-member committee of experts, that will undertake a comprehensive review of the RDO's role and operations, and will submit a report within three months. Concerns have been expressed regarding the lack of accountability and delays in research and development within the DRDO, and the aim is to attract and retain high-quality manpower with strict performance accountability, and remove the non-performers.